Hey guys, in the past I have presented Ghost Hood camouflage. So this is a really cool high quality stuff which is made for professionals. And yeah, there was some kind of a debate in the comments again and again. So I'm comparing it to this standard 3D leaf suit which you can buy for like 40 or 50 euros. And the Ghost Hood is more like a premium product. The Ghost Hoodie, which is some kind of a poncho, costs 200 euros. And the Ghost Legs, which is cover for both legs, costs 160 euros. So in total it's around 360 euros for this set. And this one is 40 to 50 euros and it's pants and jacket. But it's a big difference and I want to compare it a bit. Have fun! I have also set up an infrared camera, which you can see over there. Some time ago I was talking about infrared camouflage and this is where Ghost Hood really stands out. Yeah, what is infrared? I want to keep it short. Here is one jacket with infrared safe color and here is another jacket without infrared safe color. So right now with this camera you can see the tone or the color is almost the same. This one is even a bit darker for the visible light and with infrared this one is super bright and this one is darker. Of course, the grass has got chlorophyll in, inside and the dead trees behind me are more like dark, so it all depends. But this one helps you to be more in the background and the other one is more like in the foreground because it's super bright. So what does this mean for a camouflage pattern? The camouflage pattern, when it's infrared safe, has got several infrared colors. So it has got contrast in the infrared spectrum. Here the ghost hoodie, you can see it has got a pattern. Of course on the grass maybe it will not blend in that good, but when you are in the bushes, bushes it will help you to be camouflaged. Now over here I have the 3D leaf suit and you can see it's not infrared treated, so it's, yeah, it's synthetic and it's super bright in the infrared. In some areas this can work really good, but in others it doesn't. Before I get to the camouflage comparison, I want to talk about the construction of these products. For the night vision videos, I'm using this one leaf digital night vision device. This allows me to do really easy recording in the infra infrared spectrum. But since also the visible light comes in here, I I'm adding this 720 nanometer infrared filter, so this blocks almost all visible light. I will mount this on the camera and with this you will be able to see how the suits will perform in infrared light. At first let's talk about construction of the ghost legs. The ghost legs come in pairs. They are basically like tubes. You can really easily slide them over the leg and then you have two options. First is you cover your shoe like I did, so you also already have a boot camouflage included. And then you tighten the elastic and I can fix this to a belt loop. Now I cannot slide down and I can still reach to my pockets and get all the things I need. Same with the other leg. So, now my legs are camouflaged. Let's talk about the pants. Yeah, pants come usually in different sizes. And then, when you don't wear half boots, it can be really annoying to get your feet through. Now with the big pockets of my tactical pants, it's already a bit tight and I will have a hard time to get to the content. I can slide down the pants, but it's all a bit tight. But yeah, not much to say to the pants. Now let's talk about the jacket. Jackets usually also come in different sizes. Here this one is reversible, same like the trousers. And now I'm using the green side, you can see they are super close to each other. And I have push buttons in front to close it. 
It doesn't come with hand camouflage, so I would have to buy camouflage for my hands or when you're using gloves and that's good enough for you, then you're also fine. The hood covers the head, but not the face. So you also have to buy a face mask or apply face paint. Now, there's a bit space underneath, so I can wear an insulation jacket, but it will be a bit tight. And you cannot fit a backpack underneath it. So you, for a backpack, you would have to buy a backpack cover. The disadvantage of a suit with a jacket and pants compared to a camouflage poncho is that when you knee down, all these shadows are still there. So a poncho helps to conceal the shadows and the human outline and silhouette. The poncho comes in one size for everyone. It's the ghost hoodie and it's really easy to slide in and super fast. It already comes with hand camouflage. So if you want to protect your hands from sharp edges, you would have to use gloves, but for camouflage alone, you can use this integrated hand camouflage and you can even put one thing out for shooting. Yeah, you can see it's really long. It almost also covers the completely, complete legs and it's wider. So of course, when you go through the bushes, this can be a bit of annoying because you can knee on it or when you go in steep terrain, you can step on it. But all in all, they fit really thick jackets underneath. It even fits a small backpack, fitting chest rigs, plate carriers, tactical equipment is no problem. You can even slide your hands out and place your rifle underneath this and you're completely camouflaged. And compared to the jacket, when I knee down, the shadows of my legs are concealed, so it's better for camouflage. Now let's try and compare it when I hide in the bushes. It's important, I don't want to hide that you cannot see me, I want to hide that you can find me. Most camouflage comparisons are like fake because they hide that you cannot see them and here I'm riding obviously. Yeah, since my face and my hands are camouflaged, I try to hide them. Now, to make it easier for me to change my outfits, I would just wear the ghost hoodie on top of the 3D leaf suit, since it also covers my legs when I go down. Hands are camouflaged. And face is also fully camouflaged. Yeah, now I'm hiding here, you can see me in this hole and now I will cover myself up with the ghost hoodie.
camouflage always depends on the environment you are in. So the camouflage Concama Brown works really good in this brown environment, but on this more green area, Concamo Green works better. So there are different colors you can use depending on the environment you are in. By the way, the guys also ship to the States. Yeah, now how about the green area? Again, you can see the camouflage effect completely depends on what environment you are in. Good thing about the ghost city is there are loops attached so you can stick natural vegetation to it. And on this suit, there are no loops for vegetation. That's it with my comparison, I hope you liked it. Make sure to check out the website from Ghostsort, they also ship to the States. I want to break it down really short. When you are on a budget, this will get the job done in most cases. When you really depend on camouflage for success or when your life depends on it and when infrared is also important, I think Ghostsort is the better choice. Yeah, some animals also see infrared, so even for hunters, this can be a thing. So thanks for watching, make sure to check out my other videos and I'm looking forward to see you again. Bye!